Hi, this is just an example of uh, heat sinking the tank on the sphere so that I can simmer with this a little fry pan and a windscreen uh, for a long time without worrying about the tank overheating and the pressure relief valve uh, venting. I tried uh, simmering with the windscreen and this little pan uh, earlier, insulated the bottom, tried to make it as worst case as possible about 80 degrees out today and uh, the tank was progressively getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Now I don't have a temperature probe so I don't know um, how hot or whether it was dangerously hot but I do know I couldn't touch it anymore so it's getting uncomfortable to hang on to. Um, I could feel the heat reflected from the pan um, down to the tank, I just by running my fingers underneath it. So I was uh, I was pretty certain that if I let this go for 30, 40 minutes, um, that I could end up with a tank vent. So what I did instead was I took a lid uh, off of a kettle, put some water in it, put the stove in the water. Um, so the water is basically heat sinking the tank. Um, the uh, uh, there's no magic to this. Ultimately, that heat that goes into the water has to get conducted away with, uh, from the wind that's blowing over it. But um, it seems to be pretty stable. Uh, it's been simmering now for, oh, I don't know, about 20, yeah, at least 20, 30 minutes without any issue. Um, so this is just an idea. It's something that I'll probably use when uh, I'm using this stove with a big pot uh, in the summer, which I don't think would be too common because usually I use an alcohol stove. But, uh, you know, it's just some of the stuff I had to work through to understand what the worst case was with this stove. Hope this helps. Bye.